Hello students in this video lecture i am going to discuss with you strain measurement strain measurement plays very important role in instrumentation here we will study strain measurement under three categories first stress strain relation second types of strain gauges and third strain gauge materials let us watch first what is strain strain is amount of deformation of a body due to applied force suppose this is a rectangular box this is a rectangular box in which the force is applied in both direction here you are able to watch the force in leftward direction and uh, in both the direction the force is applied in outside outwards direction okay compared to length of this body the width that is capital d is small okay so when the force is applied externally in outwards direction then what will happen there will be elongation of this body the original length l will be increased by del l in ideal case this depth d will be decreased by del d which is not shown here but if um, uh, the, we can show it by suppose by this much if it is reduced this is the original length d so uh, after elongation in the horizontal direction vertically it will be reduced up to this size okay suppose suppose this area this area this 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 area is having the width del d then the uh, after the elongation of the body the depth will be decreased by del d and the final depth will be d minus del d okay here let me show you let me tell you this d minus del d you can write um, i am writing it with a small d so what is small d this small d is this one this 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 one width and capital d is the original width okay so in ideal case when the applied force externally is in outwards direction then uh, length is increased while at the same time depth will be decreased but if length is comparatively of very high amount uh, compared to depth then we will consider only the change in length of the body okay so here e is e that is the indication of strain is shown as a formula that is del l by l del l means change in length with respect to original length l so what is a strain strain is the deformation of a body due to an applied force that applied force is externally and the change is internally to the body now there is one more term stress so here in this diagram this externally applied force is actually stress and the change in the original body is strain strain is internally happened criteria of a body while stress is externally applied physical property so let us watch stress in a Uh, 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 greater way stress is a measure of the force put on the object over area so here stress is the change in length divided by the original length of the object that we have seen in the last slide and stress stress is the 
मेजर ऑफ द फोर्स पुट ऑन द ऑब्जेक्ट ओवर द एरिया ओके सो वॉट यू हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट स्ट्रेस इज एक्सटर्नली अप्लाइड फिजिकल क्वान्टिटी वाइल स्ट्रेन इज इंटरनली रिसीव्ड फिजिकल क्वान्टिटी ऑफ अ बॉडी Now the basic difference between the stress and strain is that stress is deforming force per unit area per force per unit area and its unit is same as pressure which is newton per meter square while strain is the apparent change in the shape as you have seen in this slide that here it is del l by l so both the units of del l and l is meter or micrometer millimeter so e will be uh, strain will be unitless okay now stress strain relationship stress strain relationship can be found out by using hooke's law Hooke's law gives the relationship between the stress and the strain, and according to the Hooke's law, stress is directly proportional to strain. This is the formula. Stress is directly proportional to strain, and the proportionality constant is known as Young's modulus, which is shown as capital E here. So sigma, that is the stress, is equal to a product of Young's modulus and strain so this uh, pro this relationship is only applicable up to the elastic limit every matter has the elasticity up to certain range so up to elastic limit this formula will be applicable so how the strain is measured strain is measured with a instrument that is known as strain gauge strain gauge now what is gauge if any physical quantity suppose displacement is having a range which is uh, normal that is in the meter 5 meter 10 meter like that then the measuring instrument is also known as meter but if that mechanical displacement is of very little amount that uh, that is uh, say micrometer millimeter then the same uh, instrument which is measuring the displacement is known as gauge whenever we use the word gauge we have to keep in mind that the physical quant quantity is of very small range either or in micro or uh, nano or milli now uh, the instrument which is specifically used for the measurement of strain that is known as strain gauge and what is the um, major thing what is the theory behind the strain gauge is piezo resistivity the concept of piezo resistance okay and what is that concept when a metal conductor is stressed or compressed its resistance changes on account of the fact that both length and diameter of the conductor change as we know that as we know that r capital r resistance is equal to rho here i am making some um, uh, random uh, indication for rho suppose this is the indication suppose this is the indication and sign is for rho that is the resistivity so rho l by a this is the formula for resistance resistance of a material or matter is equal to rho that is the resistivity of the material multiplied by l length of the material divided by a so if any conductor is stressed or compressed both length and area is changed and that changes the resistance and this property is known as piezo resistance and the strain gauge is based on this resistance change and it is known as piezo resistive gauges strain gauges are also known as piezo resistive gauges so strain gauge is uh, strain measuring device 
whose electrical resistance varies in proportion to the amount of strain in the device. 